So Josh, back from the Under-19s World Cup out in the West Indies, how did you find the experience? Uh, well, yeah, it was obviously a, a great experience. Obviously reaching the final, we didn't win it, but it, obviously it could have gone either way. Personally, it was a, a great experience taking 15 wickets. Uh, I think it was just a case of everything went my way from game one all the way to the final. Really enjoyable. It was good to get to the final. It was very like, nerve-wracking at the start, but then as we got into the tournament, it got a lot better. Player of the match in the Afghanistan game with a 56 not out. Tell us a bit about that innings, obviously, against some really good, talented spinners with likes of Noor Ahmed. Uh, yeah, when I came in, we were in, in a bit of trouble, really, so just tried to steady the ship for a bit. Once I'd got past that, obviously, they've got some really good spinners, so that was the key to that game was to try and see them off and go out their seamers at the back end. So once we'd done that, then at the back end, Alex Horton came in as well with us and we could put on a big score. Um, back at the end of the... I've our bowling innings as well. A few extra runs helped us out quite well. So uh, out in the West Indies, you, you, you was used to bowl quite aggressive spells and hostile spells. Was that a plan going into the tournament in each game? Yeah, definitely. Our plan was to bowl straight and then try and use that that bumper and try and be really aggressive and put the batsman on the back foot. We saw quite a reaction to your six foot brought with your fifty against Canada. What was that like after the game? Checking your phone and uh, yeah, well, a lot of a lot of people thought I was joking um, with it, and I thought I was doing it for the camera, but I really wasn't. Obviously quite a small lad so when I actually kind of hit a six I, I was a bit shocked myself so I kind of let everyone see that but uh, yeah I got quite a bit of reaction on social media. Yeah, and as a tournament progressed you must have had a lot of nice messages from friends and family in particular I saw your cricket club Exton do a pint deal every time you took a wicket in the final what was that like to, to receive their messages back from all? Uh, I thought it was a bit more added pressure that, that one from Exton <laughs> if I don't get a wicket here they've, they've got no drinks um, well, no, I kept them hydrated, I thought, but it's always nice hearing from home. It just makes it that little bit more special. And it must have been great to play in an England shirt, and along with Tom and Joss, it must have been a special feeling. Uh, yeah, they, they both played outstandingly well, really. Um, uh, Josh especially, obviously, our leading wicket-taker in the team, uh, bowled exceptionally well at the top. And then Tom as well bowled some really tough overs for us and bowled with a lot of pace and uh, resilience in the middle order. So, yeah, they, they both played really well, obviously stood next to him a lot in the national anthems and that's really special for not only playing for England but also Lanks as well, just having the three lads that have come through the academy and um, can do it together, yeah.